today on 11th Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told yes. you. I'm excited. I, this is fun. Oh, <gasps> we got a bubble. It's pretty cool. Hey guys! Today we're gonna do a first impressions video yes, on some lippies that we got at the drugstore. I think it's been a long time since we've done a first impression video. I'm excited. It's been a very long time since your apartment. I know. All right, so we got these L'Oreal. What are you called? Caress Wet Shine Stains. Because there's, what there's they Caress are. lipsticks too. Yeah, Caress Wet Shine Stains. And do you know what these are dupe for? What? The YSL. Yes. And do you know, do you know who owns YSL? L'Oreal? Yes! And I mean, do you know how much these cost? They were on sale. Let's see, look. Oh, <gasps> we got a Boko! Yeah, yeah, I told yes. you! They were on sale. When I started seeing it, it was like $4. It started out at like $58 and we got it for $37. So we saved like $20. Yes, we did. We saved $3 and we saved 5 and 5 is 10 and we saved like $13. Yep. So, okay. Yeah, right there. $12.80. Uh, so... These are $9.79 at our drugstore. BOGO. Do you know how much they are if you get them from YSL? How much? Like almost 30. That's insane. So what colors did we get? Okay. We got this red color in Endless Red. I'm excited about that one. It's very, uh, red name. Uh, and then Pink Rebellion, which is kind of a bluey pink, but not so blue that it looks like purple or something. That's what the model in the little, like, display Ad thing looks. is wearing. Oh, yeah. This is Rose On and On, and so this one is kind of a little bit more wearable, and then Coral Tattoo. We don't have them on yet. No. But we are going to play with these and put them on and tell you guys what we think. We haven't opened them yet. No. Are they sealed? Or do you just... No, you just twist. Oh. Okay. I don't even know how to open them. Um, they have this little doe foot thing. We'll get a good close-up on that, but oh, wow. I'm excited. They have a perfumey scent. Yeah. Like floral. They feel really nice and wet. Oh, and you know what? This is actually the formula in there. In the that's tube. refreshing. So that's good because you're not just seeing like a sticker. And and or like a piece of plastic that's supposed to be yeah. the same color. Yeah. So I really ready? want to try endless red. Ready to put them on? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try the one she had on. Okay. We'll do the pink and the red. And we'll do close-ups yeah. of it while we're putting it on. This one's pink rebellion. This one's coral tattoo. This one is rose on and on. Mm -hmm. And this one is Endless Red. This is really weird. It feels like super thin. I was expecting more Not color. sticky. It's like a wash of color. It feels feels like yeah, like you can't make it any darker. You can just add more and just make it like like more watery, but it feels good. And it's kind of setting a little bit. Getting a little bit tacky. It's getting tacky, yeah. I will say, if you have pigmented lips, it's you're not going to get the true color. Like that's what it looks like on my hand, and that's what it looked like on the model, and it doesn't look like that. Okay, I'm doing in this red. Don't look at my crooked teeth. I'm getting Invisalign. Okay. Oh gosh. Isn't it really wet? Uh huh. And it's cold. And you're like, how is this going to stay in my mouth? It just was wet. Okay, so this one's a little harder to do because it's so... I'm using a viewfinder so it's kind of awkward. Okay, so this is Endless Red and I really like it. It starts out really wet and then starts going more towards a lipstick feeling. It's tacky. But not sticky. No, not sticky, tacky. This is Coral Tattoo. A bright orange color. Woo! It always scares me like it's gonna flick out, so we'll see how this looks.
This is Coral Tattoo, and I really love it. This is the Rose On and On, and it is a more wearable pink color. So that is Rose On and On. All right guys, so overall, I think we are happy with them. I love it. I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know about staying power. Does mine look shiny? It, no, it looks like it's losing a little bit of pigmentation in the center. But I don't know if that's because if you put them together, if it does that, or, or what does that. Okay, so I think, I think what this shows is that because it starts to set and get kind of tacky, if you don't apply it really quickly and evenly, it kind of can clump up in areas, if that makes sense. Like where it starts to set, if you try to put more on top, it's going to grab onto it in that area. Mm -hmm. But if you do a really, you know, a faster coat, it'll be a little bit more even. Yeah, it feels good. It's not, it's not sticky, but I can feel like that tackiness. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's going to like slide off my lips or anything. I love the way it feels. So. I think it's neat. I like that it goes on wet because that lets you have a little bit of control over it and then it sets up a little bit. I'm interested to see how long they wear for. I want to do... Are you kidding me? <laughs> no! I just touched it to it. I didn't even do it that lightly so if I pressed it into it, like... Like I got a little bit of a line down there. Okay, like watch. Like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that got a little bit more, but when it's I just like, barely, like just barely going, I did that, I did that, that's all. Normally, if I had had on any other lip product, I would have had a complete lip print on my hand. And it took away some of my like shiny glossy feeling that I had, but I think you could get through like light eating and drinking without this getting all over your like cup or, or your food or whatever. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I yeah. mean, for the price, it feels like a high-end lip gloss slash lipstick because it's a pigmented lip gloss. Um, I, I, this is fun. Yeah, I've never really heard like bad it. things about it before and I was hesitant to try it, but I think it's fun. I think I it's different them. and I don't think anybody in the drugstore has ever done something like this. I Not think this well. I think one tip that we need to let you guys know is if you have more pigmented lips, go for the darker colors because I don't think that even the Pink Rebellion one that looked kind of dark in the tube is not that dark. Didn't really have that much color payoff on her lips and mine are the same type of pigment. So go for the darker, darker end mm -hmm. of these shades. Also exfoliate and moisturize your lips because because it does settle, it can settle into lines and stuff. And that's just our problem Yours with all so lip products. Yours so glossy and good, I love it. Like it looks you. like you have a gloss that you just put on, but like you wouldn't have to worry about it like all of my teeth sliding on your sliding. face or like, just love it. I think it's awesome. It's pretty cool. We want to know if you guys have tried these out before. What do you think about them? Yes, what are your thoughts and opinions? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you want to put it in the trash can and yeah. Throw it away forever? What do you think? And uh... Thumbs up if you like these types of videos and don't forget to subscribe. Yes. Should we do more? Yeah. Let us know. And we will talk to all of you in our next video. Be sure to Bye guys. Bye guys.